Happy Monday, you sweet little buttercups. I hope you've all had such a wonderful weekend. I feel extremely rejuvenated and I want to share with you guys because it is Monday and you know what that means? Monday reset time. I wanted to share with you some of the things that I've been hearing and reading during this month of Karthik. One thing Radhana Swami talks about so much and puts emphasis on are the qualities that we should be trying to cultivate in our heart to allow spiritual practices to really have effect. And two of them are humility and tolerance. So I thought I'd share some words of wisdom from Radhana Swami that I feel have really, really helped me and definitely something I'm going to be working on this week. So he says, humility, sometimes misconstructed as a weakness, is actually a power that few people tap into. He says, humility means the freedom from the anxiety of having the satisfaction of being honored by others. He says, pride is the opposite of humility. It makes us crave for honor from others as our source of happiness. When a proud person is disrespected, his lack of freedom becomes appallingly obvious. He is forced by pride to lose his prudence and explodes with words and actions that often hurt the other person and even himself or herself far beyond what the situation warrants. Humility, on the contrary, brings freedom from the craving for external honor. He says humility, on the other hand, brings freedom from the craving for external honor and empowers us to act for our and for everyone's long-term good. But he also said that humility doesn't mean that we let others trample upon us without protesting, but that we don't let others' misbehaviors determine our decisions and lives. Humility allows us to calmly consider the cause of disrespect and maturely adopt a principled course of action to clarify the situation and rectify the misdemeanor. He gave a really good analogy. He says that just as biceps protect us from physical dangers, he says humility and tolerance protect us from internal overreactions to externally distasteful situations. Let me repeat that. He says, just as our biceps protect us from physical danger, humility and tolerance protect us from internal overreactions to externally distasteful situations. And so they're like our inner muscles, which we can increase by spiritual bodybuilding, which means meditation and spiritual practices. So I thought that was wonderful. It was such a good way of putting humility and tolerance because humility in my mind often was like, you know, we have to feel like we are less than other people. It doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that you have to feel less than anybody. It's actually the strength within that you gain from having control and having the knowledge that you are far beyond the situations that you are put into. And so I really feel that humility and tolerance is going to be my focus for Karthik this week and really, really observing myself and seeing where my tolerance and, and uh, humility is often tested, where I find I am um, not able to stay as humble as I'd like to, but also where I feel um, I can improve, where my tolerance is tested. And so being able to observe that allows us to be able to correct it. Observing is definitely the first step to anything. If we are able to step back, and we're able to shut down our ego a little bit and see where we are possibly weaker, where we need to um, build up strength in these qualities, um, then it really allows us to grow. And um, yeah, I think observing is definitely the first step to improving ourselves. And so observe and then correct and then keep working on it because the more that we work on it and the more that we are able to correct ourselves, the more it will become second nature to us. The more that it will become easier for us to react in that way the first time around. Hope you all have such a wonderful, delightful week ahead and sending all so much love and gratitude.